Your great-grandfather gave this watch to your granddad for good luck. Unfortunately, Dane's luck wasn't as good as his old man's. Uh, Dane was a Marine and he was killed, along with other Marines at the Battle of Wake Island. Your granddad was facing death, he knew it. None of those boys had any illusions about ever leaving that island alive. So three days before the Japanese took the island, your, dad, your granddad asked a gunner on the, an Air Force transport named Winaki, a man he'd never met before in his life, to deliver his infant son, who he'd never seen in flesh, his gold watch. Three days later, your granddad was dead. But Winaki kept his word. After the war was over, he paid a visit to your grandmother, delivering to your infant father his dad's gold watch. This watch. This watch was on your daddy's wrist when he was shot down over Hanoi. He was captured, put in a Vietnamese prison camp. He knew if the gooks ever saw the watch, he'd be confiscated, taken away. The way your dad looked at it, that watch was your birthright. He'd be damned if any slopes were going to put their greasy yellow hands on his boy birthright. So he hid it in the one place he knew he could hide something. His ass. Five long years he wore this watch right here. This watch up his ass. Then he died of dysentery. He gave me the watch. I hid this uncomfortable hunk of metal up my ass for two years. Then after seven years, I was sent home to my family. Now, little man, I give this watch to you. <laughs>